Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Barbie Dolls of the Week. Today I went to a store in town that's called D's Vintage Toys here in Indianapolis and if you're in the Indianapolis area I do recommend it. They have mostly any toy you can think of that's, you know, figures and um, all kinds of boy toys. Um, but they do have a section of Barbies, and today they had, uh, this first time I'd been there in a while, and they'd moved into a bigger store a few doors down, much bigger. Probably at least, ooh, I, I'm, I'm going to say five times as big, but probably bigger. Um, and so I went through a lot of dolls looking, and they have some bins of loose dolls, and you know there was a, quite a few box dolls. And actually, I brought some dolls that I uh, didn't want to do a swap because they swap uh, toys as well and they're really good it's a it's a husband and wife that own the place D stands for Dennis which is the owner that um, I've met a few times so today I want to show you a few of the things that I got today so first of all I show you the one box doll that I got and some of you I'm sure are familiar with this so Barbie as Mrs. I think that says P F E Albi, which it says first in a series. Um, I'm not sure. I, I'm gonna have to check and see what else was in the series. But um, by the way, the back is just plain, you know, this stripe, and the box is somewhat damaged, especially on top. Um, it's certainly not perfect, but um, I forget. I think they had it marked like twenty dollars, but it was twenty percent off. And or maybe it was a little more than that, but it was 20% off, and also um, it was part of my swap, so I really didn't pay anything uh, for it. So here's the doll on the inside. She's quite be a beautiful doll, actually, and I really like that outfit. And I like the story that's in here. Um, I'm going to read you a little bit of it. It says, We honor. Persis Foster Eames Alby, a woman of spirit and style, born in Newbury, or Newry, Newry, Maine, in 1836. Fifty years old, uh, she was married with two grown children and accepted an offer to work as a door-to-door -door perfume saleswoman, becoming the first Avon lady. So she worked for a company that wasn't Avon, that later became Avon, and so that's why they consider her. And she was then associated with Avon itself for 25 years. And so anyway, that's who this doll is. And another one other thing that they said is, she just offered one product in the beginning when she was the when it was the other company, and that was called the Little Dot Perfume Set, which was composed of five bottles of different scents. So this is what this is. Here is all the bottles of, you know, the different bottles that you see. But back to the doll, um, give you a better view of the outfit. And I like even the drawing there on the table and the background that you see. So I had seen this doll before, but I never had it. And uh, once I saw it in person, it was really, they had a lot of box dolls, but one of the only ones I was interested in, there were a couple others I maybe would have been but um, not today so so anyway there's that one and then I want to show you the loose dolls that I got um, and I'm gonna start with two boy dolls if I can get them out this one who is pantless uh, is I believe the Raiders of the Lost Ark doll and I just kinda liked it so I got it but um, actually you know these were very I don't know exactly what he's doing here, but but like I said, he doesn't have any pants, so I'm gonna have to try to find him some pants. But um, and I thought the hat came off, but it doesn't come off. So anyway, but still, I like this bearded doll. I just think it's got an interesting face. And uh, oh, by the way, let's see what his chest looks like. Hmm, he's quite. Uh, what's the word? <laughs> I can't chisel. There you go. He's quite chiseled, and I see he has a speaker in his stomach. So I don't know what's. There was some. There's some little noise. I don't know what that's exactly doing, but it sounds like his stomach rumbling. 
Uh, but anyway, cute doll, and I got that just for the hell of it. Um, plus, he's got interesting. Look at his hands here. They're all they're shaped like. I mean, they're in a grip like that. It's like, well, what's he doing with those hands? Uh, he's gonna be a favorite among Ken's Ken dolls uh, if they had something for him. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Um, here is this other doll that I want to ask you guys about. I've seen this doll somewhere. I'm not sure. This I believe this is a Ken. I'm not really sure though. And like I said, I'm, I've seen him. Maybe he's a Prince doll, like a uh, Prince Charming kind of doll, um, for one of the Barbie princesses. I I'm not sure, but I'm hoping you guys can tell me. I got him just because he's so unique looking. And, you know, his hair's in good condition, even though it's the, the molded kind. Um, the outfit, uh, not so much. I uh, don't love this outfit. But but anyway, I want to see who this doll is. So I know some of my viewers will help me and identify this doll for me, please. Thank you. Okay, next doll. The rest of these were all identified. Well, no, I take that back. There's one other one that is not identified, but I know who she is. As far as the doll, I don't know which doll. So this is a sew in style doll. I've done a video on those. And I have one up here. Some, well, it's up higher that you can't see right now. Um, Trishelle, I believe, is her name. And I think this is her as well. Uh, I think this is such a pretty doll. And he, the guy at the shop threw this in with no cost. Actually, all three of these first dolls he threw in for me. And you say no cost, but really, you know, it was part of the whole deal I did. So, anyway, I really like her, and I'm going to have to get her some clothing. I, I already washed her body because it was a little dirty, but um, she looks good for a used doll. Okay, now, the rest of these are identified. I think there's four more, and um, we'll start with this one. They, oops, they put them in these bags like this and they have the name on it so this is it says 1985 I don't think this is really from 1985 but I'll have to double check but it says Dance Club Kayla okay so I really like this doll I love the colors in her outfit so I'm gonna have to look up the rest of the dolls in this series and see if there's any worth getting but this one was in really good shape and like I said the colors are beautiful vibrant um, she's got really nice and, you know, kind of strong uh, green eyeshadow that goes with the green in, her, in some of her outfit. The skirt's green. Um, this is kind of very punk looking or something. I don't know. But anyway, it's Dance Club Kayla. And she doesn't have shoes, but I think she has everything, you know, most everything else of her outfit. So what do you guys think of this one? Uh, she is from now hopefully I didn't get these in the wrong bags let me just see something I'm pretty sure that is yeah that is the Kayla okay I think that's the right one okay this one is mid, a midge doll from Barbie and the Beat it says 1990 and it says she has the wrong shirt and shoes which now I see one shoe has already fallen off so I hope it's in this bag but here's Midge needing some work on her hair, which I'll be doing um, cleaning of these dolls and clothes and the hair as well. And redoing her hair somewhat because it's kind of a rat's nest. Um, you know, I don't know what it looked like exactly in the beginning. Oh, look, she has sunglasses for her barrette. Isn't that cool? And actually, I guess that it's the real one because it matches her earrings. Now, as far as this outfit, it's rather atrocious, I must say. Um, it does have her name on it, which is unusual. Oops, let's see. Yeah, there you go. Midge. Um, she has a shoe, as I said. It's just a regular kind of uh, that kind. I think somebody called these mules, but I don't know if that's right. Um, I'm not a shoe person, so I don't know a lot about them. Also, she had a couple things in her bag, which I'm not positive they go with her, but, you know, a brush and this guitar. So if this is her guitar, which I don't know, um, 
this is what it kind of looks like with the guitar and since she said this the lady wrote on here that this is not the right shirt or, or top um, I'm going to have to see which one is but this one doesn't look too bad with it really uh, it's a little oh and look underneath I just noticed she has a little skirt underneath which actually I like that than this thing um, this is pretty awful I think <laughs> And some kind of little, um, I forget what these are called, uh, ankle things. I don't know, flash dance wannabe. Uh, let's see here. Okay, a couple more. And I think you're going to like these last two. I'm going to save the one I like best for last, or at least, well, I like all these, but, you know, I have a favorite. Okay, so this has never been, this one is not a favorite of mine, but I got it because it's such a popular doll and I've never had her. And I have, I believe, the brunette in this series, someone told me. Um, but this is totally hair Barbie. And you guys know, this is from, well, some of you know, this is from 1991. That's what's written on here. So I'm thinking she's right, the lady that did it. And she's, last I heard, the best-selling Barbie ever. And it's partially because of this long hair, which is going to need a little washing and, um, you know, care to get it back to looking better than this. Uh, and I always did like this dress. Now, talk about a short dress. you got super long hair and super short dress. So, um, anyway, this is a pretty famous doll. And I have two dolls that are in this this kind of dress or this similar dress that aren't part of this series but um, I've always had the two dresses so anyway this is totally hair Barbie what do you guys think of this doll I see I've never been a fan of super long hair like this it's just kind of unrealistic and you know I guess I went more for a little bit of the realistic part but for kids this is great I just never thought much of it as an adult collector so but I got it because of the fact that it's um, such a important doll in the history of Barbary, I guess. That's the way I look at it. Oh, one other thing. It Look what's still in here, by the way. I can't believe this. But a couple things I'm going to show you. Her shoes are in here. I'm not going to take them out for fear of losing one. Um, this is in here. This, which I assume came with her. And then... I want to see if anybody knows, did this come with her? I'm not sure, but I can also look it up online. Uh, but, look, this is in here, which I think did come with the doll, but I can't believe after all these years it's still in there. And let me see if it's been opened. It has been opened, it looks like. Um, but anyway, isn't that bizarre that that's still in there after all these years? Okay, last doll for today is one that I was just talking about, Raymond. Raymond uh, on Facebook last week, and I were talking about this doll. He had gotten one somewhere at a store, I believe. And um, look who I also found at that same... Everything's dropping on the floor. Look who I found. And I have one of these, but I couldn't resist another one. Um, of course, this is Jewel's Secret Whitney. She's still in her original outfit. And the hair looks like it's in really good condition. Um, someone's, you know, put another rubber band in it. And she does have her cape. Now, I never have figured out how exactly this cape is supposed to stay on. But actually, I think I, I might take that back. I might be thinking of a different cape. Um, yeah, it's just, I think it's difficult, but it, it's, yeah, with that long hair, you pretty much have to move the hair or something. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. But I want to just end with Miss Jewel Secrets Whitney today, and thank you guys for watching. But it's always fun when you can go to a store and find this kind of stuff. And, you know, I didn't spend hardly any money. I also got two other uh, unrelated to Barbie figures, but I spent just like twenty something dollars for a couple of one of those. But um, the swap I did, you know, paid for all this, and I didn't have to put out any money for this stuff. 
So thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Take care.